Welcome to a running farm here in New York City, the Queens County Farm Museum, uh, right here by a good old cow. Oh, I could just imagine hanging out with the original Dutch farmers of Queens in this area of what used to be New Amsterdam before. And uh, we're going to go back in time, meet some animals as well, some sheep, maybe some other types of animals. Stay tuned, maybe a pig. And then we're going to see one of the oldest farmhouses. I'm Ariel, this is Urbanist, and let me know where you're watching from. But today I'm joined by Jennifer, who is the executive director. That's right. Uh, let us know, what is the Queens County Farm Museum? Sure. And Queen where is it in Queens? So we're in Queens, in Northeast <laughs> Queens. Uh, Glen Oaks Village is right across the street, one of the largest cooperative complexes in New York City. Um, it really, Queens Farm, 47 bucolic acres right here in New York City. It's really remarkable. Wow, it's very big as well. Oh, wow. And uh, Quite big and quite old. We're celebrating our 325th anniversary of continuous farming this year. And this is one of the oldest farmhouses yeah, right so here. Yeah, so this is, this house dates back Let's to 1772. Um, the Adrian's family bought the property in 1697, and it wasn't until 1772 that the structure was built. Um, the family owned the property for about 100 years, five generations, until they sold it, and it went through subsequent owners up until the early 1920s. Wow, that's a long time. And this used to go, go back even further to the Dutch. That's right. As well. That's right. And so when did this start as a farm? 1697. 1697. So that's what's documented. We yeah. It was sold by somebody. We haven't gotten the documents that predate 1697 just yet, but we're still looking. And it still runs as a farm today? Absolutely. We're the longest, one of the longest continually farm sites in New York State, actually. Um, one state, one farm upstate New York beats us by a couple of years. But it's really an incredible site. We get over half a million visitors per year. October is quite a busy season for of us course. with pumpkins and corn maze and Halloween. It's a lot of fun um, to be here during this period of time. Um, but whenever you come and visit, you learn about sustainability. You connect with your food, understand how it's grown, how it travels to your plate, um, and understand a little bit more about New York City history because New York City grew around this place over mm. through the centuries. Yeah, and this probably fed also uh, New Amsterdam. That's right, then. and and actually all the way forward in the early 1920s, this was the highest production farm in Queens at the time. And were there cows as well? Yeah, as we, we actually have here? two steer. But when Hayden yeah. takes you around a little okay. bit, you can meet them, Dexter and Jethro. Oh, very cool. And was this tied with the New York dairy market in uh, Tribeca area, modern day Tribeca that area? I don't know. That okay, we'll look up for you and get back okay. to. And then this is the welcome center over here. That's right. Our farm oh. store serves as our welcome center. Um, there's some great products in there. Our honey that we, from our bees, and our we have the largest apiary in New York City here. Um, you can purchase that there if you need something sweet. So before we continue with Hayden, can you show us inside the farm sure, store? Sure, come on in. And we have an annual sheep sharing festival in March, and mm -hmm. it's a great opportunity to educate Absolutely. our visitors about um, the life cycle of the farm, what happens, why our sheep need to get their spring haircuts, what we <laughs> do with the fleece after they're shorn, yeah. and we send it upstate to be organically dyed or naturally dyed and processed, and right. that can be purchased right here. It comes back to us. I'll show you right here. It comes back to us looking beautiful like this. So from our sheep, from their coats to this beautiful yarn. And then we work with local Queens artisans actually. Here, stay here and I'll so walk the, you around. The sheep that live here are actually produced. That's that right. Yarn. And then we send it to local Queens artisans who then create these beautiful art oh. <laughs> pieces of fabric and, and scarves with it. And we and you can purchase that here in the farm store. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's really great. Point out the honey. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but it's right here. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Quite delicious. <laughs> so this is honey made also here at the Queen's yeah, Farm. Yeah, well, it's, it's, wow. it's made from our bees. From the bees. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, it really is. And then does the bee, are the bees visible as well as people are Yeah, I'm around? not sure. We yeah. can take a peek. Um, okay. We used to have a live bee cam on Wednesdays, 9 to 5. You could watch <laughs> the bees fly out of the violet hive. We think it's no accident that Pollinator Month and Pride Month are both the month of June. So the first row of our hives are painted the color of the rainbow. Oh, okay, okay. So I actually came here when I was in kindergarten. And um, one of my earliest memories is feeding the goats. So unfortunately, one of my earliest memories was also the goat spitting on me. So it wasn't a friendly goat, unfortunately. But this time around, maybe hopefully I'll find a friendly goat. We have and some great goats here. The, the feed is also here that That's you right. use to, to actually give. Oh yeah, which you have. <laughs> so this is Hayden, the marketing director. Hi. And uh, she's going to show us more around the animals very soon. I'll show you the apiary. That's right. Wonderful. So thank you so much thank for Thank you. It's been us. a pleasure. Uh, Come Jennifer, back again. have a great time. Yeah. And we'll continue off with Hayden. Have a great Perfect. day.
So let me show the where people can buy the feed right over here. Oh my God. Now I'm going to steal your phone. <laughs> bye bye. Let me tell everyone the story. So yeah, when I was uh, coming over here, I was um, it was a huge group of kids. Kindergarten classes usually in Queens always come over here. You grew up in Queens as well. I did, yeah. Did. And it's field trip season right now. We have lots right. of excited school children coming through the site, uh, you know, every day of the week, and it's it's really great. That's a cool thing. And then uh, I came here very excited to to feed one of the goats, and there was like it used to be a, like a like a candy machine with the feed in it. Oh well, we do now, it a little bit differently these now, days. Now it's with yeah. the bag, but it used to have like a dispenser, uh -huh. and I went over there, put in my I've quarter, seen those before. had the little feed. I was so excited to feed the goat <laughs> as everyone was feeding the other animals, and I go up to the goat with a long kind of goatee, and he's just like a goatee, <laughs> just spits in my head. <laughs> I still love goats, but but the first goat I met was very mean. So um. hopefully, hopefully today. Well, we I haven't will. seen any unfriendly farm animals. We will on the re site, redeem. So <laughs> I think we'll be okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, I just touched his hand. So we are in the neighborhood of Glen Oaks, right? Yes, Floral yeah. Park, Glen Oaks. Um, you know, some people call it Little Neck. Okay. Um, I've seen a few overlapping terms, but yes, we're almost on the border of Queens and Long Island, out in northeastern Queens. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, DSS is the honey raw. Stay tuned. I'm going to purchase the honey later and I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, Nicole, nice to see you here. Hello, Katrina. Katrina likes goats. Amazing. Oh, the let's take a look at the cows. Let's go this way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the red paint used on the building says. Difficulties. All right, everyone, let, let us know if you see me and hear me now. Uh, unfortunately, with iOS 16, the apps have gone weird. Uh, so <laughs> let us know if you hear us, and then we'll continue walking around. In the meanwhile, let's show these animals over here. Sounds good now. All right, thank you so much. So what were you saying? So our uh, cattle, we have two cattle over here, and it looks like um, they're back here behind the chicken coop. Oh, cool. <laughs> Looks like the, um, the hens have gone inside to roost for the day. <laughs> um, but we might see more. We actually have a couple of mobile coops as well. It yeah. gives the hens access to fresh forage continuously so we can move them around the farm. All the animals here on the farm kind of move around for access to fresh forage and grazing. That's um, amazing that New Yorkers can come over here and actually see actual farm animals. Um, because generally we would be pretty far away from many farms. You have to go either further into Long Island, you yep. have to go to upstate New York. It's like a while. taste of upstate right at home. Uh, does this cow have a name or do they have a name of uh, the various cows? Um, they do. <laughs> I'm going to have to get back to you on what they are. I'm still learning everybody's names. <laughs> the people and the animals. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of animals as well, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's wonderful. And then this is the chicken coop over here. Yep, there's a chicken coop oh. here. And a lot of sparrows too. Oh yeah, we got tons of sparrows. So the chickens usually are outside during the day. So this is very popular with like kids coming over and Absolutely, yeah. And field we have trips. um yeah, and the field trips we have um a lot of educational programming. We have farm educators here that that do demonstrations for the kids and teach them about sustainability, about the history of agricultural practices, about biodiversity and um you know the the importance of the history of farming here in Queens. Uh, and then Dia says, uh, do they milk the cows? Uh, the cows are male, so They're no. They're male, okay, okay. It's two, we have two steers here. <laughs> oh, I see. It'll be very hard to milk a male cow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> oh, wow, and this, this guy's a big one. 
Susie says from Bushwick says it's very hard to believe that this is still Queens. Right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. And we're, we're only a train ride plus a bus ride away or you could get here by car as well. Yep. And also from this, take the QM6, oh, the express good. bus. Ah, pro tip. It's there great. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> a QM6. little more expensive, but worth it sometimes. Is it fresh eggs? Uh, as MK, do do the do they lay eggs? The chicken coops. Yes. Yeah, so we have we have um, about 150 to 200 hens at any given time, and we sell their eggs, um, and they lay about at about a rate of one per day. Each hen oh. lays about an egg per day. 47 acres, which is uh, fairly big. Um, <laughs> it's like uh, the size of Central Park Zoo, maybe a little bit bigger than Ooh. that. Uh, and then what are we seeing here right now? So these are some of our growing fields. And as you can see that there, there are some that are, um, you know, it's harvest season right now. So yeah. we're working on collecting kind of the last of the annual, the, the seasonal harvest. Um, and some fields which have already been harvested, we're beginning to plant cover crops for. So if you see there's sort of like little sprouts kind of starting to come up here. Mm -hmm. um, the, you know, we're really invested in um, sustainable farming practices here in regenerative farming um, and so part of that practice is cover crops yeah. um, like barley and rye which helps sort of put nutrients back into the soil over the winter and prepare it for a ne the next planting season next year in the spring. Oh that's great and what were the plants that are being planted? The uh, vegetables or? Um, we plant over 200 varieties of plant of um, vegetables, fruits, and flowers throughout fruits the year. Well. Wow, yes. Okay. Uh, so a few people have already asked, what are the main activities here? So first, what are the main activities that kids do, and the second, uh, adults that come. What, what do you recommend? Well, right now is our busiest time of year. It's October on the farm. This is kind of our, our busiest season and there's tons to do. We have um, a three acre maize maze completely out of corn. Um, this year, the design of the maize maze that's cut out um, from an aerial view, you can see it's based on a Georgia O'Keeffe painting of uh, Ram's Head Blue Morning Glory. And we partnered with the O'Keeffe Museum to, to design that. Um, we have a pumpkin patch that's open daily this month. Um, circling back to the maze for a moment we actually have four maze by moonlight nights okay so if you're really brave <laughs> <laughs> oh wow you can come do the maze at night oh my god um and you know bring your flashlight and just you know by the light of the moon the harvest moon <laughs> that is a uh, also that's a great pun maze maze <laughs> yes the amazing maze maze <laughs> so uh hayden is using the uh, original word that comes from the <laughs> areas of Mesoamerica calling it maize so yeah that's great and then um how huge is the farm Ron again 47 acres 47 acres yep um what, what's the name of the farm as Patty Queens County Farm Museum yeah and so what we're gonna do actually in our little walkabout yeah. is we'll we're gonna walk around the entire maize maze okay cool let's do it <laughs> um and we can pop into it a little bit if you'd like to see a view um or if you'd like to complete the maize maze during your live it might take about 45 minutes so that's up to you and your viewers but <laughs> maybe maybe i'll do an edited TikTok. <laughs> so it'll look like i did it in record time right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know know the wiser <laughs> the magic of cinema so who's this guy over here? So we have a couple of goats over here and we oh, have cool. some lambs back here that we can come visit. And so when you said that you um, had a had a little incident with a goat with a beard, yeah. this guy was actually the first one I thought of, but oh, that's this. purely coincidence, I promise you. He might have been in a bad mood. There's a lot of, you know, it happens, it happens. <laughs> so the kids are trying to feed the goats right now. Very popular with the kids. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Adam says do the do the do the maze in a separate video. Let's Alright, look oh, he's not eating right now. <laughs> <laughs> we have plenty more on the other side too, oh, cool. so Hey, little guy, what's your name? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I love goats, personally. Me too. Yeah. 
think they're, they're such uh, cool looking animals. Yeah. And they're very good climbers too. Yeah. And really important for farming practices and, and grazing. They'll eat just about anything. Right. <laughs> so, so these are practical for actually grazing all this area. Yeah, so yeah. our farm animals here, they're all, they're all working livestock, so they mm. all have a role to play on the farm. Get the bag, get the bag, get the bag. Okay. It's like he almost heard me saying that they'll eat anything. Yeah. And the interesting thing is goats were or used before in Central Park and then they're currently still used in Prospect Park to do grazing as well. I didn't know that. They're, yeah. they're actually using goats there? Yeah, there's That's a program really cool. in Prospect Park. And there's one sheep? Yeah, so we yeah. have um, some lambs here. Lambs. Um, okay. Jacob and I think the other breed is Cor Cormo. And there's a few more back there too. Can he be fed? Uh, they can be. I they're sometimes not interested, so we okay. can see today. We'll see. Do you want to give it a try? Yeah, try? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I would love that. Would you like to do the honors? Yes, I would love to do the honors. <laughs> let's let's attempt it. I can usually kind of tell when um, when they're there. We go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I fed a, a baby sheep. A uh, lamb. <laughs> That's so cute. Can you pet it? Hi. Um, I, yeah, Hi. I think so. He's very, very cute. He's very friendly. My oh, it's pregnant, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can see that this is a hit with the kids. So sometimes they're more interested in grazing, sometimes they're more interested in hand feeding. Um, some of the goats, I'll see them, uh, if there's a visitor coming up, they'll run right up to the fence. So it <laughs> depends on the time of day, their mood, what else they've had to eat that day. <laughs> right, right. Just like us, I guess. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> sometimes you just had too much and you don't want any more. <laughs> so this is the, um, the outer edge of the maze maze. Oh, right here, the maze maze. Yeah, we're going to take a leisurely walk over to the other side. I will refrain <laughs> from making any references to the movie The Shining <laughs> because this is a kid-friendly place. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. This is actual maze, actual corn. Yeah, actual yeah. maze, actual <laughs> corn. Um, the maze maze is sponsored by Con Edison. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, developed in collaboration with the O'Keefe Museum. And so um, I can send you this later, but we have aerial footage that shows it mm. from above and you can see the actual design, like when you're looking at it side by side against Ram's Head Blue Morning Glory, you see like the Ram's Head and the little flower and everything. It's cut out to, for the design to match the painting. That's great. Let yeah. me read for a little bit. Over here. Uh, okay, everyone, there was just a little bit of music I had to meet for a little while, but here's the hayride. Look at that. <laughs> hey. hey, how's it going? <laughs> also, this is literally the hayride. Yep. You say on hay and you're riding around. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got myself a ticket for that, so maybe I'll, I will ride it afterwards. Yep. We'll catch the last hayride of the day. Yeah. All right, let me mute a little bit. chickens are kind of hanging out inside right now There's okay more. that's we're, one of our mo uh, mobile coops right there all right so we are away from the music again uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're back um, let's see who's right hanging here. out over here let's see some goats nice to see open land says Dolores yes yeah I, I love mean, walking through this section of the farm actually there's always shade uh, it's quiet you know say hello to all the animals that live over here 
check out the chickens. Mm. And when is it open? Uh, the, what are the usual hours? We're open 10 to 5. Oh, yeah, wow, uh, daily. Good. We're open actually um, with free admission 354 days out of the year. Mm. Um, so it's super accessible. You can get here by public transit. There's no admission cost. Um, once you're here, you can purchase a pumpkin during the fall if you'd like. You can um, buy a hayride ticket for $5. The feed is $3 a bag. Mm. Um, all for a affordable, fun family day. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, exactly. Because yeah. sometimes in New York, it can get rather expensive it to hang can. out with the entire family. Yep. Uh, oh, and there's no admission to get in to walk around? Nope, there's no, no admission to get in to walk around. We are, are free admission. Um, so the only days that we're not open, there's a select few holidays we're not open, and then there's a few ticketed event days. Hey, right, it's back. <laughs> Speeding through. Say Queens hello to County. our friends again. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, and so Halloween on the farm is coming up too, October yes. 30th. That's a really fun event. That's one of our um, our special admission days, which means mm. that's one of the days you do need a ticket to um, to get onto the grounds. Um, and there's going to be trick or treating. We encourage costumes. You can go to the maze maze or you know visit the pumpkin patch oh, if cool. you like. Um, there's lots of fun going on that day. Oh, the um, adopt a worm over here? booth. This? I'm actually not sure what's going on over here. There's a lot of <laughs> floats. <laughs> That's so interesting. Set up for something. Yeah. So we can go around the other side actually and say hello to the, on the other let's side. See. Yeah. And then uh, let's end at the pigs. And oh, then yes. We'll, we'll continue. We're going to. We're also going to do a nice short video of pigs afterwards. <laughs> so if you all learn their backstory, tune in to the short video that's going to be posted afterwards. Yes, they're very special pigs. But we got two more stops. We're going to go see more goats and more pigs. Let us know if you have any questions uh, for Hayden about the Queens County Museum, uh, Queens County Farm Museum. And uh, so excited to walk around here. And it's pretty wild. There's, you know, some paths where you get here and it's just will be like a fence near the edge of the property and you can see houses in you know in Glen Oaks right on the other side oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's just like a taste a taste of upstate and then your neighbor's house <laughs> right across the street Adam asks can you feed the animals so is there mm -hmm. uh, specific animals that you can feed and others you can't um, the goats and the sheep the goats you and can the sheep. feed the goats and the sheep because there's alpaca or llamas in the front yep there's alpaca in the front um, and um, Generally, they're not interested in the feed. I'm not sure if their diet is a little bit different. Right. Yeah, it's the goats and the sheep. And is there an apple orchard, uh, asked Susie? We do have um, some apple trees uh, close to the entrance, but we actually don't have an orchard like for apple picking. Okay. Um, however, in October, we do work with partner farms to bring in apples for sale on the weekends. Oh, so we sell apples, apple cider, cider donuts, and pies. Oh, oh yeah the baked goods are from a local bakery here in floral park it's really amazing but today there's none it's the, during the weekend yeah during the weekend <gasps> i gotta come back tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really good right now yeah it's tomorrow's good. the first maze by moonlight night actually oh cool okay i might attempt the maze by the moonlight then <laughs> i'm not gonna do it daytime too easy <laughs> yeah for an added challenge let's say uh ds and a few other people asked about horse rides no we don't have any horses here on the farm or okay. horse rides yeah Sometimes we get questions about a petting zoo that used to be co-located on the property. They're not here anymore. Oh, I see. And someone earlier asked about pumpkins. Are, uh, can you, is there a spooky pumpkin patch? There's not a spooky pumpkin patch. Um, our pumpkin patch is, um, we can actually visit it if you'd okay, like. Um, it's it. not too far. Um, here's some goats here. They're right. enjoying a nice little snack. So we're going to um, try, we're going to, feed one more set of goats over here. <laughs> <laughs> MK says, wow, apple cider treats. Oh, yes. These goats are a little cheeky. They are cheeky, yeah. <laughs> if you can uh, grab the Oh, goat. yeah, of course. Hey, I see he's like, you're very hungry. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to feed a little bit more. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. You. You're very hungry, aren't you? Oh, you're super hungry. Oh, you're adorable. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love goats. They, they seem like so chill as creatures. So beautiful. Do you want a little bit more? I'm going to give you a little bit more. We're going to 
Oh, you you were really hungry. Oh my god. <laughs> this is special a special blend that that we made a little bit earlier. <laughs> Gonna make you a good pumpkin spice. <laughs> That's some pumpkin spice hay right there. Hi, hey, there we go. This is yes. Pumpkin spice everything. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you again for of taking course. me here. <laughs> Let me do a close up. No, he's the aggressive one. You yeah, want the food? You have all the You're the one knocking people out the way. MK says that. Filled with personality. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back <laughs> to feed you more. <laughs> yeah, so all of the, the livestock, they play an important role in um, also fertilizing the farm. You know, aside from grazing, what we talked about earlier, we also have a, a large uh, compost um, mm -hmm. pile in the back. And we accept um, compost from the community. It can be dropped off here. Oh, that's um, good. So yeah, all plays kind of a, a role in the health of the farm overall. That's amazing that uh, you involve the community in that way. Yeah, our farm stand also, which is open um, Wednesday to Sunday, 11 to, to 3. You can come and pick up fresh produce and you know see a little bit of what the, you know, enjoy the fruits of the labor, I guess right. no pun intended, <laughs> of the farmers here. And then there's uh, a few uh, food trucks that pop up, especially mm -hmm. during the weekend, you mentioned earlier. Yep, we have um, some more food vendors on the weekends this month, um, but East Coast Street Tacos right there is also open on Fridays. They're, fr they're open uh, towards the uh, front area, right by the parking lot. Yep. And Renee says, such a sweet farm. And uh, Susie says, why didn't you get a pet goat? <laughs> <laughs> I think I should. I mean, uh, of all the animals I would have as a pet, would be a goat. <laughs> So um, over here, actually, I know this mm. is, it's sort of the end of the season. You can see these plants that are kind of mm. reaching the end of their seasonal life uh, cycle. There's a lot of milkweed here. And part of, um, this is a big part of why we're um, a certified monarch way station. So okay. you may have heard that monarchs recently became endangered oh. and it's really important to protect the their- The butterfly too. Yeah, monarch okay. butterflies. Um, really important to protect their environment and their habitat. And so milkweed is a big part of that. I can actually point it out to you right here. I see yeah. one. Um, so you can see, like I said, it's reaching the end of its life cycle right now. But if you came in spring and summer and like late summer, mm. um, I actually spotted a whole bunch of them last week. The, um, the milkweed is the only, a lot of actually butterflies, specific species of butterflies, there's only one plant that their caterpillars can feed on. Okay. And for monarchs, it's milkweed. Oh. So milkweed is a really important plant in, in terms of supporting the habitat of monarch butterflies. Um, it's also toxic to a lot of monarch caterpillars predators. So it serves the added bonus of kind of protecting the vulnerable larva while it's still developing. Oh, that's um, good. So yeah, so if you came back here, you know, next summer, um, you know, they're kind of flying, <laughs> flying south for the winter, I think is what monarchs do. Um, but if you were to come back, you might spot a few. Oh, and then so they're also a really attracted. Season, a specific day yeah, as well. They're also really attracted to these, um, these flowers that we plant here. And um, speaking of predators, oh, here's our, oh, our here, there. alpacas. So it says, please do not feed the alpacas. I think, unfortunately, the poor little girls, that's disappointing. <laughs> Have a different, very different diet. And of course, they're not native to here. Wow, beautiful, beautiful creatures. So the alpacas are Giorgio and Rocky. I do know their names. Giorgio and Rocky, I <laughs> yes. love it. Great names, very Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> Giorgio. It's important to stay hydrated, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then amazing. the pumpkin patch is down that way if you want to yeah. take a peek. Let's check it you out. You can go down this path. So we'll finish off at the pumpkin patch. Well, actually, let's finish off the pigs. pigs. We can also, um, we'd have to go back to the other side, but the okay. apiary is on the north side if you'd like to see that before we go. Okay. Uh, Nebul says, don't get too close, they spit. <laughs> so I personally have been spat, well, like spat on by a llama, but not yeah. here. Okay, okay. Um, but uh, 
Yeah, these guys are really friendly. They're actually, our barn is where the office is, like right back there, and so we can see them most of the day, and they interact with tons of visitors, and I I've, I've, haven't seen any incidents, so <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> they're very friendly. Yeah, all of the animals here are super accustomed to, um, to interacting with our visitors. So I have a lot of people tuning in that never been to America, don't know too much about unique American customs. What is a pumpkin <laughs> a patch? A pumpkin patch. It's, it's Including a myself, patch I'm a pumpkins. New Yorker. I have no idea what pumpkin <laughs> it's, patch is. Um, it's if you want to come and pick your pumpkin to carve your jack-o'-lantern for Halloween, this is a great oh, place to come. I see. Okay. Pumpkins are a huge part of decorating um, during the October, you know, the fall season, October's Halloween. Mm. Um, yeah. So they're meant for people to pick and then uh, they can decorate it as yeah. they, they please. Okay. Wait, so you've never carved a, a jack-o'-lantern? No, no. I think I, I was forced to do it once <laughs> in elementary school, but it was so super difficult. It's I messy. It's a little messy, yeah. but it's fun. You should give it another try. Yeah. yeah. Is there any decorated ones here? Yeah. I mean, so the, a lot of people like to carve the bigger ones, but you can decorate any of them. I see people paint on them. If all you the can time. hold it. Yeah, I'm going to try to uh, pick up one of these. Let's see how heavy they are. Oh, they're not that heavy because they're pretty hollow. Wow, but they're still a big pumpkin. <laughs> oh my God, you can make a lot of pumpkin pie with this. Is that one marked XL on the bottom? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, oh this one's go. cool. Oh my God. Oh, I would love to make a good pumpkin pie with this. Ooh, yeah. a nice pumpkin puree. Put in a real latte, ooh, oh. <laughs> That's what I'll pick the pumpkin for. Oh, amazing. So here we have a lot of little kids and their families. Yeah, it's also just a really fun photo opportunity for families. We set out some hay bales, you know, here and there. and. Mm -hmm. um, you often see a lot of families taking like cute seasonal pictures here and then I get to look at them all as they're posted on Instagram and <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they're all very cute. <laughs> so, Some uh, of them dress up their kids in like costumes. So my personal favorite mm -hmm. is the pumpkin costume. The kids in the pumpkin costumes in the pumpkin patch. That's next <laughs> oh, level. That. <laughs> That's very nice. And David says, why go to Trader Joe's when you can just come here? There you yeah. go. And you're supporting, you know, a really right. great nonprofit organization. Um, uh, so they have prices. Sorry to interrupt. But yeah. Yes. So right here. So that the one I picked up was probably an XL. Oh, yeah. I think so. Adam says, take one home. I might, I might purchase <laughs> one. Yeah. Homemade pumpkin pie is so yummy, says Dolores. Oh, mm, now I'm is. hungry. Homemade pumpkin bread as well, Oof. which I have made before, and I love it. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what's your favorite farm animal, if you can hang out with any of them. Let's see if we can find pumpkin and spice. Oh, I think I see pumpkin back there. The mud patch gives you a little hint of who lives here. Oh, I see. <laughs> the pigs. <laughs> now, this is featuring a lot of New York movies, especially the further you go back. Oh, so everyone uh, in the pumpkin patches. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cool. Uh, we'll get to later in the subsequent short video so stay tuned everyone <laughs> uh, but they their names are what pumpkin and spice they were born on halloween that's oh. true that's a true story wow that's amazing pumpkin and spice born on halloween 20 so it's going to be what i've been calling their spooky second yeah. <laughs> at the end of this month bella says uh white converses are big no no here no i would recommend boots but even though you're braving converses though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it depends on how much it's rained lately right. So where can people find more information about Queens County Farm? So if you visit queensfarm.org, we have all of our information about um, the farm, the history of the farm, our mission, um, agriculture, and um, all kinds of information about the programming that we have going on in October um, and then coming up in November and December as well. Oh, that's amazing. And then is there an event coming up that people should know about? Yes, Halloween on the Farm, October 30th, um, is a really fun day of just like Halloween festivities. Um, and then in November, we have the Autumn Dance Celebration, mm. which is um, hosted by the Thunderbird American Indians, um, the American Indian dancers. And it's a great way to learn about um, indigenous culture and traditions and the meaning of dance, you know, to the groups, to the indigenous groups of New York. That's amazing. Yeah. And then uh, one more time, how, to, how does one get here? Uh, oh, from so, Manhattan. <laughs> um, from Manhattan, you can take the QM6 Express Bus yeah. from Midtown. 
and get off at um, 252nd Street. Um, 252nd Street is very close to Little Neck Parkway, which is actually the address of the farm is is on Little Neck Parkway. Mm -hmm. um, and when you get off at that intersection, there's a big sign at the intersection pointing to Queens County Farm Museum, so you can't miss it. It's about a third of a mile walk, like 10 minutes or so from the bus. Um, alternatively, you can take the F or the E train to Queens to, to Union Turnpike Kew Gardens, yeah. and then board the Q46 and take that to the same stop, the 252nd Street stop at Little Neck Parkway, and then just walk that same few blocks up. The nice thing about that bus, I will say, as if you're a native New Yorker, I know when you hear bus, you like quake in your boots a little yes, bit. Yes, yes. But um, that bus, it's the, when you get off at Union Turnpike Kew Gardens, it's the origin stop and the terminal stop. So you can't get on the wrong bus. You can't get on the bus going in the wrong direction. Oh, that's They're good They're all hear. going to the farm. So okay. as soon as you get out um, from the back of the train, the Q46 is right there. Just hop on any of them and it'll take you straight here. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, thank you, Hayden, so much for showing us around the Queens County Farm Museum. Thank you for visiting. Uh, we'll be doing another, another short video. Stay tuned on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikTok, Ariel Vieira. Thank you, everyone, so much for tuning in. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Have a great day, everyone. Now, I always do a wave goodbye if you want to join me over here towards the llamas. I mean, towards the alpaca. Bye. <laughs>